This is part two of our Australia a motorcycle journey series. To watch part one, click the video now or find the link in the description. In this episode, we'll meet up with some special guests and make our way along Australia's southern coast. With our week in Tasmania now behind us, we were looking forward to the prospect of warmer weather and drier roads on the mainland. Before we could head anywhere, we had to stop back at Heathmont to pick up some things we left behind and to meet up with Kynan. After we got what we needed, we arrived at the service station to be met by Bryce, our father, this guy here, and Ralph, Kynan's father, this guy. Here's our bikes. We quickly left the service station and headed on towards the promised land slash road that is the Great Ocean Road. On the way, we were escorted by some friendly bikers who told us that maybe that lane wasn't for us. Nevertheless, we found it, the Great Ocean Road. I'm just going to let you enjoy this for a little while. Just after we thought we'd seen it all, we arrived at what used to be called the Twelve Apostles. I don't know if it's called Nine or Eight or something now, but it was beautiful. We kept on riding into the night and eventually found a place to sleep. We awoke the next day well rested. After grabbing a bite to eat, we went our separate ways, with Ralph and Kynan heading back to Melbourne and the three of us heading onwards to Adelaide. Thanks for coming along. Yeah. 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 Good fun. It was a good bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sit at home. In. Love that. <laughs> Dad, he was itching to go. Yeah, I'd like to. We soon got back into the groove of travelling again and before you know it we were in Port Ferry where we were greeted by this fabulous view. Good colour of water. Really, isn't it? I swear I wanted to come and camp. Yeah, I remember looking that. I was talking to Curtis yeah. and I said this is a beautiful place, just up in there that we found a track. Our next stop was a lighthouse nearby where, on our way, Dad was a little bit too fixated on looking at the windmills. Oh, they're a bit mesmerising for the corner of the island like this Yeah, it's got to focus on the road, otherwise, yeah, you get wobbly. Now that Curtis's belly was filled with french fries, we pushed on towards Mount Gambia. Dad recalled seeing the blue lakes at Mount Gambia from when he was younger. It was quite a wonderful thing to see. A 
At this point in the afternoon, we'd exchange beautiful, nice, sunny weather for this really stiff breeze that just seemed to be coming at us uh, head on for quite a while. We stayed with this breeze pretty much all the way until we got to Kingston SE where we found a camp and decided to turn in for the night. The three of us emerged from our refuge and were prepared for whatever this wild weather would throw at us. We kept driving onto Sandy Creek and this place was supposed to have a service station and we arrived uh, during working hours but the owner was drunk and not serving anyone. So Dad happened to find this really nice guy called Roger. Yeah, if it wasn't for him we'd probably be stuck there for a while. So thanks Roger. We then pushed on to uh, Adelaide and during a little bit of rain along the way stopped in Adelaide quite briefly and we kept pushing on to a destination which had been recommended and that was called Crystal Brook. We found the camping ground in Crystal Brook and uh, keen to set up and have some food. After leaving the serenity of Crystal Brook, we ventured on into a landscape which resembled Mars. It was just a barren, flat, dry expanse. And we grabbed some snaps along the way. The remainder of this day was just rain cloud after rain cloud and it seemed like it would never give up. Soon after leaving Streaky Bay, the internationally recognised honour code of waving to the oncoming traffic uh, began to take over. After driving on some very boring straight roads for hours on end, we finally reached the Nullarbor Roadhouse. Fill up 
After getting some fuel, we were greeted by the first sign saying, look out for camels, which was pretty exciting. See, I think we're at the first rest stop. No, it's another 10 k's to the thing. There's another three. Okay, let's go there. The sun was setting quite fast and we had to find a place to camp soon. We're just deciding where to camp. Here's a video of Dad running. <laughs> yeah, onto our campsite. Here's our campsite. Let me just take you for a tour. So, this is our bikes, parks, along the walkway, coffee. This is the view. 